Hey guys, it's me Tracy at TYS Creates. Thanks so much for stopping by. I want to share a project with you before I get a shift out. I am participating in a Facebook group where we had to do three altered coffee sleeves and we had to um, stuff one of the sleeves. And so this is what I'm sending my, um, my partner. And this is, well, let me show you the paper pad that I use paper pad I use. It's called North Pole Gazette. And I purchased this from Michaels, I think maybe two years ago. And these are some of the papers that are in the inside of the pad. Really, really pretty. Love the colors and I love the touch of black that's added into the paper pad. And again, this is from Michaels and it's a recollections paper. And I'm also sending a bag of goodies that I got from my stash and some things that I haven't been using. And I'm sending her um, this package as well. And so the first coffee sleeve is this one. Absolutely love the way that it turned out. I think it's so stinking cute. This is the paper. You can get a better look of the paper. Really, really pretty. Love it, love it, love it. And this one may have come from a different paper pad. But I really love these. I really love this paper. The poinsettias on here, really, really cute. And again, this is the front. And some of I'm not going to take anything out because I don't want to disturb it. I don't even want to have to put it back together. But this are these are some of the things that I put in um, these little envelopes here that I got from Michaels on last year. And this is the back of them really cute and then these gingerbread men that I did last year as well and yeah and I also put some wooden pieces and I got a lot of these wooden pieces from Michaels on last year or the year before um, after Christmas sale so these may have been maybe like a quarter or 15 20 cent or something but they are really really pretty and great to add to your projects and I got quite a few of them some were in um, brown and most of them were in white and you could easily add color to these so I'm going to be sending her a few of those and again this is the first one love 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 it and this is my second one that I'm sending her this is a uh oh this is a better look of that paper. So stinking cute. And this is the front. I altered a paper clip and I actually got this from a swap, a Christmas swap maybe two years ago. And um, this front piece here, this little sticker here. Uh, Santa that I cut out with my Cricut machine and pieces of the paper pad. And um, I altered some tags here. And this piece here, I actually altered. This was a rosette that was gifted to me in a swap last year. And I added the eyelash trim. And I put this bow on here. And I added a straw to it to make it into a wand. So I thought that that was really cute. And I'm going to stick that back in here. There you go. So this is my second one. Love, love, love it. And this is my last one. And this is a better look of the paper. Love that plaid. Really cute. And these are some press-on stickers here that I'm gifting her. You can kind of see what they look like. And this is the front of that one. And then I added some of these um, gingerbread men that I got from, I want to say Michaels on last year. And um, these little bows here were from the Dollar Tree. And this, this piece here was a piece of the paper pad that I just cut out. And I added this tag on the front of it. And it says Merry Christmas under here. So really cute. And this um, piece here is by Laura Whitlock. So stinking cute. She also has a girl elf as well. So love, love, love that. And I also added some eyelash trim with this one and um, some tags. This one is really filled mostly with tags. And some of the tags that I put in here are these beauties that I got from Hobby Lobby on last year or year before. 
And these I purchased from, I want to say Dollar Tree on last year. And then these are so stinking cute. I think I got these from Michaels on last year or the year before. And I have not seen them anymore. But I think they are so stinking cute. And not only can you use these as tags, you can definitely use these as embellishments as well. Now, how stinking cute is this gingerbread house? So, absolutely love it, love it, love it. And this is my project share to my partner. And thank you guys so much for watching. And you all have a great crafty day. Until the next video, bye-bye.